there we go. Now Jeffrey's on it for the show. Ladies and gentlemen, this is our final week to get most or all of these cars ready to go for not this Saturday, but next Saturday's Night of Destruction. Here it is, October 16th. And look at all the cars we got to work on today. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Got a lot of work to do and a lot of time to do it. Liar. You're right. <laughs> So yes, ladies and gentlemen, as Tommy said, October 16th, that means there are nine days before Night of Destruction, seven cars getting ready out of our low-budget stable, and uh, we have a lot of work that needs to be done here, but a lot of small things. You're going to see us just hammering away on one car to the next car to the next car, and I know Tommy and I have a lot of stuff that we want to accomplish today, and we'll probably not accomplish any of it. Yep, we'll get to talking and walking. So how about, let's start with our first deal, what are we doing? We're going to be looking at this car. Because this one gave us most issues from the last race. The last skip play race. That's right. Seems to be an issue with a throttle cable. So that's what we got to figure out. Why this thing, besides it being burnt up, is not working properly. We thought we fixed it five times over, but apparently not. Full throttle. Full throttle? Full throttle. Okay, let off. Okay. So, hit it again. All right, let off. It's, you know why it's loosening up? Why? Because you got nothing to No, it's because the spring is so tight. We're pushing out the throttle, so this spring, all this spring is, is being tra translated yeah, to that. Yeah, because it's trying to grab, yeah, it's trying to grab a different spot. So, that brings me back to my question of how bad was the original sticking? We have a couple fix-ups that went on here, and one of them was a little bit overkill. It's just the spring right here that Tommy's adjusting. Tommy's going to give this thing a test run and see if our slight adjustment to the spring works. Feels better than normal. <laughs> I'm just running for him to just drive straight into his camera. <laughs> Looks like it has more pickup in reverse. Unless you're just, or where are you going? No, I was full throttle. It, it, has, it has better reverse. So there's still some work to be done on this. Thing. I think the transmission might be the issue. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, start! You are! Reverse is fine. Is that full throttle? Yeah. All right, wait. What's this car doing? It's sleeping. All right, let's see that big. Is that full throttle? Yeah. No. There's no proof. You're there. There's stuff. Back out, back out. There's a lot of stuff that I don't have. Stop. ding dong! Cross your fingers. So welcome to the Grand Tour. We know you, we've given it to you over at Wendell Speedway, but here's the, uh, Forklift edition. The car you just saw the number two, I believe we're calling that one good, ready. I have some studying to do tomorrow, so I will not be here for tomorrow. All right, it's 5.30 here on this Wednesday afternoon, a week and a half before Night of Destruction. This car, this number 96 machine, ready to go. It couldn't be more ready. It actually might be going to a display in Fontana this weekend. The Mav TV IndyCar 500. Well, there you go, check that out. So, yeah. low budget TV being represented out there. I should put a, a pony on it. Why not? And then this car, all it needs is uh, basically a T-bone bar. That's all it needs. This car is a T-bone bar away from being ready. Now, <laughs> no, no you didn't. You... Ow! Someone sideswiped my car while I was playing. No, no, no. You no. did it with a forklift, didn't you? I can't believe you right now. Now, now we're here with the nine, number 96 Cadillac. Yep. What year is this thing again? 1987. So this one, we're gonna check to see the fluids. Uh, we obviously know it runs. We put a radiator in it, make sure it holds water. It may or may not have been full, so as long as it's got... So this is this is how you check the water level. Yep, and you open up the cap and, and since... And Tommy's favorite radiator. Since this neck is so silly, 
The, you, I can't even see where the water level is. Uh, it's cold water. Okay, that was a great check. <laughs> All, what we have to do to find out if there's water or not is we're gonna have to fill it up until it starts squirting back. Ooh. Now let's go over to the oil because obviously you need to check the motor oil when the car has been sitting. Uh, if it runs and the motor oil gets all over the engine, this dipstick checks how the level is from the bottom of the motor, from the oil pan. You know so, what I like, by the way? What's that? Um, I look like Fabio when I do that? No, is that you still have a ratchet somewhere in this car. Yes, I do. It does look like it has oil. All right, so you see it's just full. I mean, this is pretty self-explanatory, but some people just don't know. So, at what point would you want to get oil? Where, where will it be? Uh, when it's down to like that, or that. <laughs> where it says add. Yeah. It'll tell you what to do. It, it tell now, what now to what's do. interesting is I know some people also look at the color of oil yep. as an indicator. And uh, as you saw, mine was darkish, almost black. You, on a street vehicle, never want to see that. Well, my, mine isn't bad, it just needs an oil change. But when you're on your street car, you want to make sure it's golden, like kind of a gold color. That's good, clean motor oil. When it's black, it means it's burnt up and dirty. Just making sure, and it still says we're good. And that's that's kind of how you do an official check. Take it out, wipe it off, then stick it back in. Mm -hmm. It's kind of a, a good rule of thumb for a, a couple things in life. Now, the transmission, <laughs> for an automatic transmission, you want to let it warm up, let the transmission, you know, warm up, let the car idle. Maybe go forward and reverse a gear or two, but let it warm up in neutral. Pull the dipstick and see where you're at there, because you got to check a transmission when it's warm. This car will be welded though up front. Yes. And here's the perfect spot why. We'll go up, across, and down. Beautiful. Beautiful. What's wrong with it? We need a radiator. Oh, we already have one. Never mind. The low I, budget. How do you check? Low budget special. How do you check the fluid though? Can't find a cap on this thing. No. This car is in need of a bumper. This car just needs a fuel cell and then the reinforcement in the front. This car just needs the, the passenger doors pulled out yep. and a T-bone bar in it. We're very close to having all of our small cars, which are the most run machines on Night of Destruction. Those cars are very close to being ready. Shayla's is gonna be, I think, the most interesting car though. Yes. All right, Tommy, so what are you up to right now? I'm making a contraption. Called okay. using a porta power. A porta power. A portable jack, a car dent remover, <laughs> whatever you want to call it. I want to call it one hell of a dent remover because look at the dent. You guys remember this from the first race this year? No, it wasn't because of this. Look at this. Look at that. All right, folks. So here's kind of how the uh, porta power works. As you see on my racy notes, like I mentioned, I'm an announcer at her window. Luckily, it's been soaping up some of the transmission fluid that spilled all over during the practice session. I don't know if you guys remember that. It was a lot of fun. So here's how our port of power works. You're going to basically, you have these two ends. You have a pump. The way the pump works is it translates power. It translates this shove, this push, this force into this, and it should push it back out. This will be fun to see. Cross your fingers. You hear that? You can hear the whole car. That is amazing. I'm impressed right now. Just watch this. As an engineer, these are the cool things, you know? You can see the door is actually starting to regain some of its shape. So our big deal is getting this back to where I can get a T-bone bar in it. Hopefully I don't die. It's always a big hopeful for me. Shit! Oh yeah. It's pushing. You're doing a good job. Is I love it? how the doors are literally straight out. 